What was it? I like gimmicky names. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Look, here they are. We should, getting ready we to go. Frost and Acetyl at the setup right now. Getting get to, getting good to go. And uh, for winter semifinals, this is going to be the first half of that. All and right. Of course, there's uh, the other half after that as well. And then we'll be uh, progressing from there. But here comes the first game. Acetyl Frost. So, yeah, we're going to see a lot of keep out here. This, this match will clearly... I mean, unless the players are... These are very skilled players, obviously. Unless the players have, like good read on each other right the match will clearly be in favor of one or one character or the other just or the other of, right right innately how the play style works here prom has got it he's got a sword it's pretty stubby you know rick has got this chain and he's got you know a bunch of stuff to kill demons and stuff right and prom, prom can do a, a front flip be cool and uh, that's about it so <laughs> oh oh the setup a funny Ooh, flip it worked. That. Yep. That backwards, that backwards facing um, Frost to buy him some time there, and didn't look like it didn't look like Frost like caught on to what he was doing. Or maybe he, yeah. he won't fall for it again. But that was some sneaky stuff. They've got some. Uh, Belmont's got a bag of tricks. Oh, look at that! Going for the two frame on the down smash. Two frames? To land it. No, it was going to be an attempt at it. The way that was uh, timed. Does down smash two frame? Oh, uh, it can, yeah. I, wow, that's something I didn't even know. That. That's cool. Or, for example, like if uh, Frost ran out of iframes on the air dodge before he had reached the ledge, could have punished that as well. Right. Your iframes start decreasing when you sit on the ledge. Yeah. At like 125, 150 or something? Yeah, around like 125, it starts to like shorten a lot, yeah. Yeah, it goes from one second to like three quarters or like half a second or something. So you gotta you gotta be on your toes and choose an option quickly. Yeah, 190. That's a lot of living 190 here. Yeah, living it like up, up and throw. there's that up throw. Holy yeah. cow! That'll definitely do it at that percent. A, a swordy killing at with a throw. Yep. What is uh, this? Basically, like yeah, like Lucina, Marth, Crom, uh, and Joy. I want to say that like Prom and Roy have to do it like a little bit later, but that was like too. I know, yeah, I know like Lucina and Marth uh, can do so like around like one. I want to say like one like fifty or sixty just to be safe. Maybe one forty on a good day. But yeah, that that'll definitely do it at two hundred. I don't think they have any other throws for that though. Uh, as far as I can tell. Very nice. Yeah, I, I agree with you. The throws on the sorties aren't really too much to do. Yeah, look at this neutral. That is definitely something we want to be paying attention to. And already two stocks ahead. Frost is making a great run so far. Ooh. Man, Ooh. three. That was like, like three, four years in a row? Yep. And he makes it back still. Yeah, Again. Frost is insistent on holding on to that second stock. As Astil is doing the most to try and tie this up. Alright. Astil again, as I mentioned earlier, it's his courageousness offstage with Richter. A traditionally, a traditionally character that doesn't have a lot of offstage, like, you know, leeway, I guess. Right, more than not. Right, so I guess it just surprises people. It's like, oh, you're playing Richter? Oh, you're going offstage? Oh, you hit oh. me. Okay, I'm not coming back, am I? Oh, oh. No. Uh oh. Astil, no, not like that. Yeah. Uh, the smile, the smirk. Definitely was trying to go for like the exact same thing that you just saw there, but backwards. To like, you know, not right. do that. I, I can't tell if he was trying to hit the shields and do like one of those weird like dive kick bounce up setups because when you hit a dive kick on shield or hit, it gives Rick the pseudo jump thingy. Oh yeah, that's definitely what it was. Obviously though, you know, it wasn't trying to do that like to the bottom of the screen. You can't, definitely can't right. do it off the blast zone. Say no, that, like, Victor, dive kicks in this game can't grab the ledge. Imagine diving off the blast. It's, in its beginning. Oh. oh, bro, is this an illegal stage? Yeah, we don't run this stage on uh -oh. uh, Mondays, but I mean, maybe they add gentlemen to that. That's very possible. Are we? Yeah, they're running. Yeah, Frost didn't bring it up, so I think they're chilling with it. Uh, I guess real, a rare treat, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see Lilac. He read the he read the uh, the roll, yeah. 
and that's ladies and gentlemen, that's why it's not legal. Did you see that up even Did you yeah. see that? Bro. That was on good. this stage on this stage if you have a character that can slide like from you know slide on the bottom of stages, right, slide up to the ledge, it's criminal. Ridley can, it is. Ridley can he can he can cover two thirds of the stage. Yeah, it can be it's, it yeah. can do numbers, that's for sure. Right. This this stage is cool. It's cool looking, but it's it's it has a reputation. Nice Ooh. jab back here. Tying it up. Jaren Frost is uh, making pretty good use of this counter fake. Um, doing a drop off uh, up air off the platform and getting a pretty nice string off of that for thirty percent. Now we're gonna continue laying on that pressure. That oh my goodness, As still laying on some great pressure. Look at that. You can get an F smash in there. And Astil's uh, got quite a bit of momentum right now with that percentage. And Frost has a little bit of makeup work to do. Man, layering on these F smashes. And Frost is uh, needed to do the most to get themselves back on stage. Good job catching right. the black of five frames with the axe. Astil is just putting, just putting Frost in, in ledge jail. He is, Frost yeah. Is doing his, he was doing his best to try and get around it, but yeah, as, but that's super as a sortie. That's super right. armor that's I mean, only available now he's going to get prioritized. Right. Because it only works to a certain percent, too, I think. Yes, it does. There's only so much you can do. And he just has so much. It's actually, it's actually pretty similar to... Um, well, no, I think it's just Super Armor. I was going to say it's close to Yoshi's, actually, but Yoshi's actually works differently. Yoshi's uh, is, Yo Yoshi's is double like jump. double jump. It's yeah. like hitbox based. I don't remember. Yoshi's really good. It's actually different from that. I, I thought it was for a second, but no. But now it looks like uh, the yeah, solid S match is going to be tying up the stock count. But with I still still retaining a 78% lead and trying to bring it up even further to try and close out the game. Right. Making good attempts so far, trying to read some good uh, off platform options. And this stage has an interesting. It's got a little bit of everything from a lot of the stages. Like there's a lot of space. No pun intended. Above the platforms, right. So as long as Frost is minding how he's coming down from the platforms with like fall through aerials or something, he should be fine. But right. in terms of like keep away and stuff, Richter definitely, or I should say, Aslan really has the upper hand when it comes to juggling, because mm -hmm. like you know, Frost doesn't have too many landing options. Uh oh, he's too. Yep, he's in. That was a weird bounce. Oh yeah, he's check that there, out. there, down air. Nice DI. Can't come back. Can't. Oh, Oof. yep. Can jail. still make it back on the platform, but only to be met by holy water forward air. Yep. Now we. All right, who's gonna tell him? Yeah, and Frost definitely put that. Uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Astro definitely put that stage pick to work to great advantage. Should be noted though that we uh, have like particular stages that are run on certain days of the week. Uh, Lila is normally not one of those picks, so either that was a gentleman's pick or a mistake on Astil's part that um, Frost also made the mistake of not calling out, because that was definitely a very beneficial stage pick, as you saw throughout the, the most of that set, or most of that game. And uh, yeah, now we're thinking back to these two, uh, as per Frost counter pick, and we'll have to see how that changes things up. So we'll have to see you in just a second. Again. There's a lot of space above the stage. Oh yeah, on this one as well. You see Frost here being way more patient though. Choosing his choosing his opportunities wisely. Right. Trying his best to not get stuck in ledge jail. Oh, try to get a little bit of a string started there off the platform, not able to make it happen just yet. Good job catching the platform options once again from Acetil, but a good side B stream from Frost. Just gonna be tying up the percent here just about. See that he parried it and he went for a forward smash. Right. That was a, that was something that he tried in the first match. You recognize that. Oh, Jet back nice. here. Oh, the fade back. Oh, he's preserved his jump. Nice. Oh, interesting angle to send him at. That was kind of weird. Yeah. Back here again. And Frost water, is gonna get shield pressure with that push. holy water. That's a lot of great yikes, mate. Yeah, that was good. 
Richter's like, I don't know, like his frame suggests like a medium character, but like because of the Castlevania series and like he's kind of stocky, mm -hmm. he's a little heavier. It's kind of a little, a little bit heavier, a little yeah. bit misleading. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the Belmonts definitely meet that criteria. Of these characters that are like just a little bit, not like way heavier than expected. Like for example, like Pilot, who's like super heavy for some reason. Uh, but like definitely like just above that way to where like sometimes you just land something and be like, oh, you're actually not dead to that. Huh. I, I get that. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. Right. Right. Um. So Richter, Rob. No, Rob is actually one point. Rob. Richter's yeah, I would Mario. expect Rob to be heavy. Rob is so Rob is actually 106. Richter's 107. Mm -hmm. Ike is 107, and War uh, Wario is 107, and Ridley is 107 as well. So okay, so I same weight right. class as Wario, Ike, and Ridley. Right. So if it kills, like if it, you have to remember this when you're talking about weight. If it kills forcefully, right? Because right. all three of those characters have very different attributes to get back to stage. Right. 200 percent. Man, look at that. Yeah, we were just talking about how heavy he is, and uh, I still was showcasing that That's very well. It, he must have gone on Fiverr and gotten like lessons from Don or something. Yeah, I will teach you to live to 200%. I can see it now on Fiverr. Say less, bro. I forgot they do coaching on there. I, I just keep thinking like Metify is the go-to site, but look at that. Whatever, whatever Metify training Astro might have gotten or Fiverr, it's uh, looking to pay off. Holy water's a menace at the ledge. It peaks below it. You can hit it at a certain angle and actually have it fall. Mm -hmm. Like the act of it fall. It's really weird. It's very specific. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good shield pressure from us too. Oh, good jab into F tilt. I that like Jeff tilt. <laughs> Jeff. Tilt. That's right. The names that people come up with for these characters are funny. Yeah, because I'm, yeah, I'm not just saying like I came up with it. Like that's like a, oh. an established thing too. Right, right. That's an like established. Like Jeff Till. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we call Jeff Till. That's right. The Arizona Smash community. Right. I don't know about everyone my, else. My but... friend, my friend plays Roy. He, he says that's a funny. Title. Yeah, that's Find how we. That's silly. how we do it here. That's how we do it here. And look, look that's just about to show us how it's done right now. Oh, oh almost no a grab. But Frost is hanging in there. Oh, oh, there we go. Good catch. See? But don't forget, this is winter semifinals, so there is one more game. Best of five. Best right? of five. You said it, yes. Right. Or uh, first of five. Oh, we know. Best of five, yes. Okay, I don't know why I panicked. First, first no, of you were five. Right the first time. You were right the first time. I don't Bro, know why I panicked. A... I thought I caught myself watching. Ladies and gentlemen, Beautiful. get your popcorn. This is a salty sweet now. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Tell me why I can call that Jeff Till and not the freaking sport. <laughs> 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 we were definitely right the first time. Somebody get Eigelman on the phone. Exactly. Bro. Jack, Jack, <laughs> Jack here. We we saw we saw conservative use of of the uh, what was it? Uh, not wave bouncing. Just just I guess just wave side landing? B reverse. Yeah, wave. No side B reverse in for for frost. Mm. To mix up Crom's just angle of him descending, it doesn't really do too much because oh, there's right. the hitbox is in front of him. Right. But you know, hey, it, I'm gonna go this way. Oop! I tricked you. I'm going the way. Like, you know. oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah. It starts in back of him, or no, it starts in front of him, right? So if you like the, the up air, if you fall through it. Yeah, you have to hit the back yeah. part of up air, and that will yeah. allow you to hit the ground in time to land back. That's how you do that. And it has to happen off the platform too. Actually, no, you can do that just off of jumping behind them, but I feel like off cross platforms up. usually more success. Yeah. Because you can also just like drop through the platform as opposed to running off of it. But look at that. Solid the Belmont special. Yeah, solid Belmont special. Oh wow. Jump yeah, jump saved. So Good that that pseudo he got hit by the dare, right? But that, that pseudo jump because he's like technically like he's not I don't know if he's inactionable, but like most people don't do anything right. until like he's like done done. You know, Frost capitalize on it. He's like, hey, he's not doing nothing. You know? Right. I'm gonna hit him twice with a forward air and then Aslot was like, Bro, did you just do that? Yeah, As is still doing a good job at making attempts at pushing this lead even further and I, I say attempts, but it seems to be a pretty successful one. Frost getting out yeah. of ledge deal, uh not able to Life. make it back, but 
got some no great jump. groundwork to play off for the tight stock count. What do you what do you think about Oh wow, very aggressive. Oh no no more jump. Oh no, no more stock. That's the problem with Belmont's and Frost no is calling it out of 4k man. right there. Great call. Dang man. Just a just a random outburst there from Frost. Just, yeah. Holy cow. Dancing blade. Aslotl is the one that led to jail now. I didn't expect to see another one. Yeah, Ac time, the down Acetil one. is looking in a pretty dire spot right now. Good job catching the forward throw. And forward throw part two. So our next option is be careful on ledge. That's still don't uh -oh. make that down there. <laughs> Last thing we need is you no. to make that down there, bro. Hang in there. Control that Frost stage. been getting out of ledge jail, bro. Okay. There you go. Fair. All right, so this can go two ways. I think it's going way number one. Yep. Jab recovers so quickly. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, man. Jab, jab. Nope. Up throw. There, did you see that? That was the holy water hitting on, hitting on the side and falling. Yeah, that is... Uh, I think that Ooh. exists. A bit of an oddity. Oh! Ooh, training oh, that's it. forward smash. No, no kept the jump. Oh, oh we're catching it oh, again! Oh, hi. Catching Flip. it two times in a row is going to net as it till the two to, oh, three to one victory for the winner's semifinals. So yeah, you can hit Krom out of, and Ike actually, out of their apex of their upbeat. Yeah, um, 